We present ReWave, an adaptive imaging technique for wavefront sensing. The goal of a wavefront sensor is to measure the amplitude and phase of an optical wavefront. Consider, for example, a monochromatic point light source, which emits a spherical wavefront out into the scene. Conventional sensors measure light intensity, which in this case results in a uniform image. However, what is not being captured is the phase of light, an important optical attribute that is related to the optical distance light traveled to reach each point on a sensor. Wavefront sensors capture both the amplitude and phase of an optical wavefront. For example, one such device is known as a point diffraction interferometer. The idea is to take an instant wavefront as input and split the wavefront into two copies using a beam splitter. One copy of the wave reflects off of a mirror, resulting in a wave that retains its original shape. The second copy reflects off of a small pinhole, which turns the wavefront into a spherical reference wave. These two wavefronts are then recombined by the beam splitter, producing an interference pattern at the sensor, which can be used to recover the original wavefront. Unfortunately, the reference wave created by the pinhole typically is very dim, which makes this approach very sensitive to noise. The key idea behind ReWave is to recover high quality wavefronts by designing a brighter, adaptive reference wave. Similar to before, we take an incident wavefront as input and split it into two copies using a beam splitter. However, instead of a pinhole, we use a programmable phase mask to modulate the phase of this wavefront. And instead of a mirror, we use a second sensor. This sensor captures an image, which can be used to design the phase mask pattern. And this phase mask reflects the incident light with a reference wave back to the primary sensor, which can then be used to recover our wavefront. This approach has several advantages. The device is less sensitive to vibrations because both the target and a reference wave travel along the same arm. We strategically design the phase mass to produce a brighter reference wave, and our wavefront can be uniquely and analytically recovered in as few as four images. Here's an example of a microscope slide captured using ReWave. On the left, we have the amplitude of our recovered wavefront, and on the right, we have the phase of this wavefront. Once the amplitude and phase are known, it is possible to refocus the image of this slide by propagating the recovered wavefront to a different depth plane. For example, we can use this to visualize this slide at two different depths. On the left, the cell in the top left is shown in focus, and in the right image, the cell in the bottom right is in focus. Here's another example that involves a B leg. Once again, it is possible to refocus this image as a post-process operation that propagates the wavefront to different depth planes. At one depth plane, we can see the dust particles on top of the slide as shown on the left. At another depth slice, we can see the details of the B leg as shown on the right. ReWave can also reconstruct the structure associated with the Fresnel lens. For example, in this phase image, we can zoom in and clearly observe the quadratic phase pattern associated with a Fresnel lens. We can use this information to form high resolution images of a target with nothing but a cheap Fresnel lens. To do this, we capture a wavefront using ReWave at the input plane and propagate this wavefront to the location of the Fresnel lens. Now, using the phase image of that Fresnel lens, we can correct for our wavefront and then propagate the result all the way to our target. Notice in the image in the left, we have a high quality, sharp image of our resolution chart. The same idea can be applied to diffusers. Here we have a phase image of a standard diffuser. We use ReWave to capture a wavefront at our input plane, 
and propagate this wavefront to the location of the diffuser. Using the phase image of the diffuser, we can correct for this phase at this plane and then propagate the result all the way to our target. Notice again that we can recover an image of our resolution chart. In comparison, if we did not apply any kind of compensation to the phase, we're able to recover nothing at all. Thank you. Please refer to our paper for more details.